Well, really interesting talking to you because what you're seeing in Hungary is quite different from what you've been seeing uh, the last few days in Poland. Although both countries neighbouring the crisis in Ukraine, much more people uh, seeking refuge in Poland. What, what's the story that you've been unfolding and uncovering in, in Hungary? Yeah. Uh, hi, Isabel. Um, the story in Hungary is that the authorities are managing with the flow of people that are coming across the border from Ukraine. But uh, there are there are differences with obviously coming into Hungary compared to uh, entering uh, Poland, for example, the language barrier as well. Big difference when it, uh, when it comes to um, between uh, Ukrainian and Hungarian compared to Ukrainian. Um, Polish, and then of course uh, Hungary is a country that that has been quite anti-immigration, anti-refugee for a number of years now. They dismantled the country's asylum system. There are only two processing centres, so they've had to kind of do an, a do a 360 and put in place systems for managing the flow of people that are leaving Ukraine. But they're doing very well. And in fact, where I'm standing, talking to you now in Kishvada, about 10, uh, 10 minutes or so from the border, it's a brand new tennis academy, and they've taken it over. And they've been bringing Ukrainians to stay here who are fleeing the conflict in the country. We can speak to one of them now, uh, Tanya Borisova. Uh, Tanya, thanks for speaking to us. Really appreciate it. Just f first of all, what's it like staying here? Is it, is it okay? Yes. Is, uh, this is uh, stay. Uh, uh, all of us is okay. Uh, we uh, take here about uh, two hour post media uh, and uh, we have a breakfast and uh, we. Um, we are waiting for a bus uh, about uh, tomorrow, but we don't know. Uh, maybe to Budapest, uh, but uh, we don't know. Yeah. Now we don't know. We uh, have uh, no more information. Yeah, and you're from Kiev. Yes. You've, you've come here with your son. Yes. yes. At, but also lots of other children. Yes. Uh, I, I'm from Kiev. Um, my son uh, is studying at the Olympic College. Uh, he is an artistic gymnast. Uh, he training about uh, eight years, hard training, about ten hours uh, during a day, the hard work, and uh, our children, uh, our children, uh, is here uh, because uh, the Putin, uh, because Putin uh, leave uh, our children, uh, uh, the children leave uh, his parents. Uh, his parents don't know uh, with him uh, he, uh, their children. Mm. We don't know his parents. Yeah. yeah, The children is all over Ukraine. And the children and, and, uh, uh, and we don't know from uh, uh, from which country, from which town the children. We don't know. So, so the parents dropped the children off yes, at the school yes, yes. and then went off to fight in Ukraine and left yes, you and yes. a few other adults with not me at the academy of football uh, in the village Dertsen, Transcarpathian yeah. uh, region. Uh, he lived uh, there. And uh, we, uh, uh, we, we take these children with us and... Uh, just just a, one, one or two of you who are adults and then lots yes, and lots of children yes. uh, from across... The, from across and uh, 52 children here, yeah, here. Yeah. but uh, now 30 children uh, went to the Budapest, yeah. this uh, football. Yeah. Uh, but our children is artistic gymnastic, three children. Mm. Uh, one, of, one of them is my son. Mm. Uh, we stay here and uh, we are uh, waiting for more information yeah. when we are going. Uh, maybe uh, tomorrow, maybe the day after tomorrow, we don't know. Yeah. Uh, we want uh, to uh, our children that uh, he, uh, here in Hungary uh, are training. Uh, not only stay sleeping and eating training, we hear only that he is training. Yeah. Because, okay. uh, uh, one moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'll tell you what, we'll show you the accommodation while, while Tanya just takes a moment. Actually, if you come in here, Tanya, you can come with us if you want. This is the accommodation that uh, the Hungarians have provided for. This is, this is one of the rooms. It's quite a new building. And these are the kids. That's Maxim there. Do you want to say hello, Maxim? Hello. Hello. Yeah. And how old are you? I'm. Uh, you are twelve. 
30 years old. 13 years old, no, okay. 12 years old. 12 years old, that's okay. Me. And you do gymnastics? I uh, do gymnastics. Yeah, yeah. And, and you This is my love. <laughs> this is your love, gymnastics. And you've come from Kiev? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And w what was it like in Kiev? I like uh, going to train. I <laughs> I like It was every <laughs> everyone, everyone, everyone. I understand, yeah. And all the kids are here. Do you want to say hello? No. Hello. Say hello. Here they are. Here they are. Um yeah, so that's like gives you an idea. All these kids have got uh, parents who've gone off to fight in Ukraine and have left them uh, to be looked after by Tanya and a few other adults. Tanya, just very quickly, and if you just come round, um, just tell us w what's the situation like in Kiev when you left. Um, the situation is very bad. Uh, we have no more uh, eats uh, in supermarkets. Uh, more difficult uh, to uh, take a rice, uh, take a vegetables, take a meat. Uh, the clothes, uh, um, okay. but there were there were so difficult to find food, and there were yeah, and yeah, bo there yeah, were bombs yeah, yeah, and things yeah, like that as yeah, well. Yeah, and yeah, yeah you, it was scary. Yes, and. Um, the situation is really very hard. Uh, and your husband's fighting? Yeah, yes, fighting not fighting, uh, stay in Kiev, okay. uh, stay uh, waiting, waiting, okay. yeah. Okay, thank you for speaking to us, really appreciate that. Sonia Borisov there, who's along with a couple of other adults, they're looking after kids uh, and they're trying to get them to somewhere safe and they don't know where they're going to be going after tomorrow. And that's, as we've been hearing, it's a very similar story.